Hey guys, it's Kevin with Mix Coach. It is Saturday, time for another episode of uh, the Mix Coach Minute. By the way, I, I am not going to be posting the Mix Coach Minutes on Sunday, so uh, today's the last one for this week. But thank you for tuning in all week. I am actually at my favorite uh, coffee house here in Murfreesboro, the city I live in, and it's called Just Love Coffee. If you just love coffee roasters, if you like coffee, it's a great place to come. But uh, anyway, I, I tend to come and get a lot of uh, Mix Coach coach ish kind of stuff done here, but. Anyway, what I was going to talk to you about today was I did a vocal session yesterday with a kind of a, uh, a big deal client to me anyway because he's done, uh, he has been on Broadway quite a bit. His name is Mark McVeigh and he's done, uh, I think he said 3,300 performances of Les Miserables. So he is the main character in Les Miserables. Uh, I have still haven't seen Les Miserables, so I didn't tell him that, <laughs> but uh, I need to. But anyway, uh, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal singer. Uh, great, uh, incredible range. And anyway, so I was, you know, on my P's and Q's yesterday. But I couldn't help but think, you know, the things that I do about a session maybe you would want to know about. So I'll backtrack just a little bit, and, and I'll tell you up until the point we started vocals, and perhaps that'll be a, a different, uh, maybe a different uh, show or something like that, or a different Mixed Coach Minute. But the first thing I did was I just made sure my studio was in good shape. It was, um, you know, tried to make sure that the floors were vacuumed, tried to make sure that uh, everything was in its place, nothing was cluttered, um, uh, uh, more than normal anyway. I think my studio is a little bit cluttered anyway, but uh, I tried to make sure that uh, there was a, a tray of fruit and the snack box that I've got had some crackers and stuff and you know, drinks and coffee and things like that. Just, you know, water. Uh, singers, you know, when you're doing a vocal session, you want to keep water around and things like that to keep them hydrated. I uh, made sure that the mic was, you know, at the at the height that I uh, had done research on him and, you know, how, how tall the mic was, how tall he was. Uh, I had my best set of headphones out uh, ready for him to listen to. I had my best mic out, I had, uh, you know, everything I could think of to do, I did. I pulled up the session, made sure it was working, made sure that his headphones were working, I made sure everything, before. this is all before the, he got there. Some of it was a day before he got there because, you know, I was kind of um, putting all this stuff in, in place before they got there. But, you know, I heard Zig Ziglar say one time, one of my absolute... Uh, big influences, especially when I was out of high school and into college and things like that. He said, the harder you are on yourself, I'm paraphrasing, the harder you are on yourself, the easier it, everybody else will be on you. So I was trying to be super hard on myself and on my studio and you know what I could do so that when he walked in the door, he felt like I was on his side. That's That was the whole point of me doing everything like that, that I wanted him to feel like when he walked into my studio without saying a word to him that he knew that I was uh, pulling for him to give a great performance and I think that's something that uh, that a lot of engineers some engineers don't tend to do that I've heard stories of of guys that you know their studios a mess headphones weren't working and you know and it's happened to me before, but I'm, tell, I'm telling you so it doesn't happen to you. But, you know, try to have your studio set up. Just try to have everything ready to go so that when they walk in, they feel like, you know, this guy has prepared for this. Or he's, you know, very organized, which I'm not, so I prepared for it. So <clears throat> the second thing I was going to tell you, too, on a vocal session, especially not necessarily a vocal session, but a session that... It's a session where you've got to get a lot done, and it's possibly the first time you've ever worked with someone. The, you know the first thing we did when we first got there? We talked for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I listened a lot. I, I was going to see if I could pick up on any clues that he could give me, like, um, I don't know, certain microphones maybe, or the way you like the headphone mix. I'm, my ears are perked up, and I'm listening for every clue that I can find. And um, so conversation is really important when you're working with a new client because you don't want to for them to walk in the door and then just boom, you're off and running recording because you're probably going to end up wasting the first 10 or 15 minutes anyway getting you know things set up. So 
you know, you may as well just enjoy that time and try to get to know what you hope to be your, your new client for a while. So anyway, uh, hopefully there's some nuggets of information in there that you can use. I know that when I do, you know, just to recap, when I do vocal sessions, especially with, with vocalists I've never worked with before, Make sure that make sure your work environment is clean and it lends itself to being productive. And second of all, take the first few minutes just to relax, talk to your client, make sure that uh, that you're all on the same page. Because chances are, even though he's a you know your client is high profile client and a great singer, he's probably just about as nervous as you are about working with a new producer, a new engineer. So take a few minutes, kind of let the air uh, flow in the room, you let the conversation flow, and, uh, and get to know the person. So that will always lend itself to a better and more productive session when nobody feels the pressure of having to you know, jump right in the game and get things done. So anyway, I'll tell you more about this session later if you're interested. If you're interested in learning more about the session I've got, click the like button. Let me know that uh, you care about this, you've seen it. Uh, and if, if, if I don't get any likes or anything like that, I'll just move on to the next subject, okay? Hey, thank you for watching today, and I'm going to drink my coffee, and I'm going to work on some more content for my Mixed Coach members. So check it out if you get a chance, okay? MixedCoachMember.com. Until uh, Monday, I will see you. I will see you later, or until Monday, <laughs> one or the other. Bye. <laughs>